Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I last talked about grief and this time of the year can be very happy and fun but it can also be very hard when you are grieving the loss of a loved one. So let's talk about it. There's one thing I want to say before we get into it though. On my channel there's a playlist called Coping with Grief and Loss. It groups together all the videos on my grief journey after losing my dad and the lessons I've learned so far. So please go check it out. It can really help you develop a different perspective on life and death. Today I want to bring your attention to a specific aspect of the grieving process the feeling of loss and abandonment. When our loved one dies, we no longer see them. We can't talk to them anymore. It's like that person has vanished. Death robs us of our routine. It's a huge change in our life and a great shock. I remember the weeks after my dad's death. I used to walk around my place and wonder where we was. Death leaves such a void in our life and we don't know what to do with that empty space. The void is in our heart, so inside us, but it's also around us and outside, in the silence and in the absence. Our perception is that our loved one has been taken away from us, our life and our home. It feels cruel and makes the pain even deeper. That's only our perception though, and not how things really are. My grief has become incredibly light when I realized that my dad has just come home. So I am the one who is still on a journey, who still has a lot of work to complete the project for this life, and that's why I'm still here on earth. I am the one who is away at work. My dad is waiting for me at home just like he used to do when I was away at university or studying abroad. He hasn't been taken away. His work ended here and he has come home, in a beautiful, loving, peaceful place we all belong to. We are all way too much attached to this life. Even when we believe emotionally, we tend to think that this dimension, our routine, our relationships, the way we know them here, is everything and we struggle when death threatens that. I encourage you to think of your life as a project, a work of art, and not as a permanent place, a permanent scenario. You need to let go of the idea that Earth and what you experience here is everything. Instead, hold on to the lessons the healing, the hard work. No one, nothing will take that away from you because it's part of you, of your project, of your work of art. Focus on that and you will see that the void you now feel will soon disappear. Remember, our loved ones on the other side are home. We, on earth, are away. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have found this helpful and I'll see you next week. Holy Spirit.